Hey, how you guys doing, man? It's Joe D, and welcome to Share Beer 498. We are two shows away from show 500, but it's not exactly going to be two weeks away. Uh, show 500 will be on the 16th, 16th of March, and um, we are still trying to decide if we're going to have a half show or no show. Um, would, would be the ninth, I think, right? Did I have that right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we still have at least one more week to figure this. Yeah. Well, you know, we got you know the committee has been formed, and we're 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 taking testimony yes. from interested parties and soliciting response, you know, feedback, and then of course we have to meet and That's discuss right. it. So it's a process. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, when you and if we wide. can't come to some sort of agreement, I'm not afraid to shut it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I care if we're shut down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I will shut this down. Uh, you know. <laughs> if we can't come to some agreement. Okay, I am playing hurt. We've got actually a, a couple of people on the board here are, are playing hurt today. So uh, we're going to do our best, you know, so in, in, in which ain't much people because we're already at like, you know, what, what are we, what, what, this is like the C team already, isn't it? Yeah. Like, come on. Let's be real here, you know. And then when you're playing hurt, it's like, geez, we're getting, we're giving people fifty percent of fifty percent here. <laughs> but we do have a malt liquor report coming up, bottom of the hour, so we'll get with it, man. What do you have now, Mark? I am just about ready to pop open a brand new beer from a local brewery, Red Hair Brewing in Atlanta, Simply Simcoe. Oh, right. yeah, and it's. Uh, there's only 75, no, 96 ratings on Untapped. It's by, there's a few Simply Simcoe. So it's, it, it has just the generic icon. It doesn't have a picture of it. You say from who? Who was it from? Red Hair, Red Hair Brewing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got it now. Um, so it's a 16 ounce, I think it's 8%, 8 or 9%. So I got to love 16 ounce cans. Yep, yep, yep. And, I'm assuming it's a single hop, Simcoe, which is, and it was a four pack for $9.95, I think, $9.99. That's, well, it, it, you know, it seems like, man, we, and we talk about this, what feels like a few times a year now. Mm -hmm. The prices are, aren't they going up quicker? I think they are a little bit, yeah. Like they're in a faster pace. Yeah. Escalating isn't every not just beer, but isn't everything going up at a faster pace nowadays? Is it just my imagination? But it feels like just this time last year, I think we were talking about your average that same four pack of beer being eight bucks. Yeah, now this is a double IPA, and I'm assuming it's a uh, you know kind of a specialty beer. Uh, it looks good. 8.5%. Yeah, so it's a nice, it's a dark, it's like a copper color. I mean, that what's shown on camera is pretty much what it is. So it's a nice copper color. And Simcoe, I don't know if I've had, yeah, Simcoe is kind of a, it's more earthy and floral. It's not really citrusy or piney. It's just kind of a, seems like a good, it's got a little bit of pine, but it's not resiny. It's not like super citrusy. Yeah, that's good. Very tasty, and it doesn't taste like eight and a half percent. I mean, it tastes like a, um, uh, you know, like a normal IPA. I mean, it's not a real heavy body. Um, carbonation's nice. Yeah, it's a good one. Cool. So we got simply Simcoe from Red Hair Brewing. We got ninety six totals on here. Eighty six in the last thirty days. Yeah. 8.8 percent .8 ABV. Eighty eight. Wow, look at that. Eight point eight and eighty eight. Yeah. That's awesome. And 388 on the readings. Wow. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Look at that. You know, I'm, giving it, I'm giving it a four. I mean, it's a, it's a solid, uh, very drinkable. It's got nice flavor. Um, yeah. I'm giving it a four. So it's going to bump up a little bit. I'm probably going to ruin the average. 
So let's see. I got yeah. So if you re, if you if you refresh it, it's still going to go up now. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, it's still showing 388. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it, I was kind of secretly hoping I would actually have some influence on the rankings. <laughs> but if you check it in this time and one more time, you'll have 88 monthly check-ins. So that will yeah. make up for it. Yeah, the, 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 the numbers went up, but it didn't necessarily reflect in the average. Yeah. So... All right. Well, it's a good beer anyway. I'll enjoy the I'll enjoy the rest of them. I'm sure. But you gave it a hell of a try there. Oh god. Well, that's all that counts. All right. <laughs> Coach, what do you have, brother? Um, I'm having a Deschutes Jubilee, Ooh. if I'm saying oh, that correctly. Oh, yeah. Jubilee. Yeah. Jubilee, yeah. Uh so I went to Costco and picked up this thing right here. So well, you get a Deschutes mix pack at Costco. Oh, you suck. That's great. Well, it's, it's not really a mixed pack. I wish it was a mixed pack. It's, it's not a mixed pack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and the reason I grabbed it is I never tried it. There's only four left, and there's a whole bunch of the stone mixed packs. So I know I can go back and get the stone, but they're almost out of this, so I had to grab it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jubilee. You guys are right. Jubilee. Okay, I see it. Yeah, what do you think of it? Yeah. I like it. I had it last night for the first time properly, not like this, a little mm -hmm. sloppy, but um, it, it was a little more smoky than I thought it would be, and it's definitely darker, but I like it overall. So good, good. yeah. Uh, I'll share the screen on. I'll share the screen on the 2018 uh, version of this. Uh, um, 4,313 totals, 145 in the last 30 days. 6.7% ABV, 65 IBUs, and a 3.69 rating on this, man. Uh, Jubal Ale is an excellent winter ale. It really is. It's solid, man. It, it definitely is good. And we got these big uh, flakes of snow falling outside today, so this is perfect. Mm. So, oh, so. I bet. Yeah. It's uh, how, how like, like that big or what? Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. Play. <laughs> I've got I've got a very unique beer to the show to share right here. Boom! Fall of Troy, kids. That's what I'm talking about. I wish I could get that. Yeah. The vanilla orange milkshake. Yes, sir. Right now, that's what's up. Mm. So we're going in the share beer glass. Hard. Hey, there we go. There we go. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it is going over. Stick your nose under that, over that, Joe. That'll clear your sinuses. Yeah. yeah. That'll, that'll, <laughs> that'll, that'll, right up. Yeah, right up. Yep. Exactly. So, yeah, this is a solid brew. I've, I've, I've showed this on here uh, a couple times now, right? Because Coach had it and I've had it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. I can't get enough of it. Yeah. The only thing limiting you to drinking this beer is the price. <laughs> and that's the problem with some of these brews is, you know, they, they can get in your butt a little bit and you kind of have to give it to, uh, do we call those people friends that are in the chat room right now from that other community uh, that starts with an M? Do we give them any credit? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you know. but there's other people that say there's another form of a malted beverage that you could drink that is more affordable, not focused on quality, but <laughs> <laughs> it is on a, an alternative, much much lighter version of this. So you know. It's like that, you know. You get that, you get that triangle. You get, you get uh, any three things. You get to pick two. So with that, it would be uh, cheap, um, taste good, and get you drunk. So yeah. you can only pick two, and the oh, other one only has two. I was door foamed right now. <laughs> yeah, that was. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that was door. I got door foamed <laughs> right now, but you know. I don't know. What do you say to that? What I mean, what can you say? You know? 
Dorf back at you. Yeah, Dorf back at you. <laughs> I have to agree with a name like Dorf. Come on. The guy has it coming, doesn't he? I have to give it, you know. Sometimes you have to give it to the other side. Sometimes you're like, all right, I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? You're still an idiot, but all right, you know. A dead clock is right twice a day, right? Come on. You know, I mean, so, you know, for whatever it's worth. (laughs) Oh, you know what? Before we get to Bum and, and, and the Malt Liquor Report, something I've been meaning to talk about and we have not gotten to, I'm completely unprepared because I'm keep catching myself off guard is the what what is it the Bud Light uh ingredients label or the nutrition label? Nutrition oh, label, yeah. 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 Wow. Any any thoughts uh on that? I haven't seen it yet. I mean I've seen the commercial though in the Super Bowl, but I haven't followed up on it. No, so they're they, always they roll them out already? Are they already out in the stores? I haven't seen them. Actually, I'm shocked that we've gone this long without those labels appearing on beers. They they always have appeared on gluten free beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's always been the typical nutrition information that you would see on any other food product on gluten free beers, but somehow regular beers have avoided it till now, which is shocking to me. Okay, Pam Pam says that that the reason we don't have ingredients labels is because beer is controlled by ATF, not FDA or USDA. Oh. Yeah, they have a specific ingredients disclosure requirement. So they're not, for, oh. they're not required to do it, but they can if they want, I guess. So uh, yeah, another, and none of them have. <coughs> See? Okay. Yeah, okay, so Pam says gluten-free beer is a claim which falls under... US FDA, so they have to d- disclose it. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. See, we have our own. What else do you want in a show? What yeah. else do you want in a show? We got it all right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, people. Let me let me show you right now what we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> and this is from the commercial that that I think debuted during the Super Bowl. We're just now getting to it. So my apologies for that. So do but, they just say nutrition shit shit more shit? Yeah, it's so it basically <laughs> it basically water, barley, rice, and hops. I think rice should be first, but mm-hmm. just saying. It's not, um, they use corn syrup, they use rice syrup. At, at least second, at least is it, it water and then rice and then like a bunch of like dots, like dot dot dot, and then some barley oh. and hops. Right, yeah, that tells you. Rice, rice. They have more. They use more rice in their beer than they do barley. And I thought beer was supposed to have barley in it. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're you know, and then they've got 110 calories here. They've got zero, 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 zero. Everything's zeroed out except for carbs. They got 6.6 grams of carbs, which is two percent of your daily intake. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of trying to put it out there like they're healthy. Yeah, yeah, they're not they're counting not the, the not counting the alcohol. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on, let's not get technical here, guys. Come on. <laughs> so, Earth, Earth any on thoughts me? on the new yeah. ingredients label going on Bud Light? Will this be a beer trend? And what would that be? I missed it. Nutritional facts. Yeah, the nutritional oh. fact label. Uh, we're going back to the Super Bowl now when they, they, when they Oh yeah. Facts. The the uh, the uh, Bud Light Super Bowl nutrition commercial where they they were taking um, the nutrition label, putting it through arrows and shooting it at people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to make sure they had the ingredients and all the Bud Light. <laughs> I have a very good observation about the Super Bowl, if I may. Okay. Most people go to Disneyland. The uh, Patriots owner, he goes to brothels and gets charged oh. with prostitution. <laughs> Just got to throw it out there. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. That's another kind of Disneyland. Yeah. 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 You know. Anyway, yeah. just had to, had to take a jab. Sorry, Tom. Yeah. Hey, I, I, hey it's not me. So. Well, <laughs> it doesn't mean. You kind of support the guy, okay? I don't support the guy. I support the team that he owns. Oh, okay. Now, now we're really. I like okay. the guy. I like the guy, but. I can't control what he does. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I mean, what do you want? You know. 
Well, he can pay off people and refs, but he can't pay these hookers <laughs> off the right way. I mean, oh, you're stepping over a line now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Tom. <laughs> Cheers. What do you think, I, lo- I love you, buddy. Love do you, you have any thoughts on the nutrition label on Bud Light cans? Will that be a beer trend going into the future, 2019? Oh, I don't think so. It'd be nice to know how many calories you're drinking, though. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to know with craft. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'd rather not know. Yeah. yeah. So Bud Light, I, I, I did a, I pulled up the image. It says it's 110 calories for a 12 ounce can of Bud Light. 6.6 grams of carb, protein 0.9. So you've got 20, like 30 calories that come from carb and protein. So what do the other 80 come from? Alcohol. Yeah, which, which, which the food scientist says is what seven calories per gram. Okay, there we go. So that's that's the missing piece. Uh, we don't want to, you know. Let, oh, come on, let's not, you know, let, let's not get too crazy here. You know, <laughs> we, we want to focus on on the water, the barley, the rice, yeah. and the hops. You know, I want to know the, what the, kind of rice they use. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's actually a good question, isn't it? Like, yeah. what kind of rice? Yeah. What, what kind of rice? You know, that's a good is question. It, or is it, you know? It's, it's, it's a roni, I think. Yeah, yeah. let's see. <laughs> Bud Light Aroni. <laughs> we, we never really asked that, huh? What kind of rice uh, goes into uh, Bud Light, right? I imagine it's the cheapest rice you can get. Uh, <laughs> well, it doesn't have soy sauce in it because that would have flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, because uh, you know, we, we how many different how many different kinds of rice are there? Oh, there's whole grain. There's wild yeah, rice. I mean, there's there's like got to be hundreds of different rice. Yeah, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, no, I'm sure it's it's yeah, it's all the good stuff. It's spread all the pesticides, rice. They get extra mm-hmm. bonus stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, only, they buy the rice that they go over in planes, and they they spray the whole entire field. Uh-huh. Okay. You know that because that is actually a good and 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 yeah, I'm I'm really curious now. We've never asked that question. Well, what kind of rice? I mean, it's the first thing we do with everything else. Well, what kind of hops? Uh, well, what region are those hops from? And, you know, where's the barley from? And how are they processing it? And, well, what about the rice? I mean, that's, you know, Bud's not the only one that makes beer from rice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, what kind of rice is preferable for beer? Well, I think, what is it? What are they saying? It'd be nice to have Zach on here because I'm sure he probably knows our the Asian whole, friends. whole thing. But rice <laughs> is supposed to be. I think it, it it ends up being really clear. I mean, so that's part of the reason. And just really light color, and it's a little crisper, I guess. But it'd be nice to know what the. Well, I think mainly just because it's cheap. It's cheaper than malt than barley. Yeah. 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 It just man, there is not a lot of information on well, that. I want to know: Do they use rice and malt liquor? I mean, that's that's a question or is it corn syrup i think it's all corn syrup, corn syrup yeah. okay so here's we know who to ask well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a question that's answered so here's an old okay here's an old forum uh thing from uh, the american home brewers association this is from 2011 so this guy's asking a question hey all been thinking about adding a small percentage of rice to a future brew can i just add the rice straight from the bag or yeah you, mm. you use plain white rice is what one guy is saying he's well another guy says i use minute rice <laughs> i there's a huge difference with these things isn't there like uh you know the amount of starches you're going to get from certain rices the yeah, amount of, they probably have a specific kind of strain that gives them well, kind of a because they use it for its food. I mean, it's a sugar, and what they get from the malt, you know, they gotta they gotta ferment it. So it probably has a certain 
No, well, Budweiser. I mean, they've got they probably got it nailed down to like the, you know, the one millionth of a percent difference in the starch content of that rice versus the other rice. So. It says Anheuser Busch is the single largest buyer of rice in the United States. Oh, I, <laughs> there you go. I believe it. I mean, look how much beer they. I mean, look how much yeah. beer they brew. Yeah. Uh, and how you know how much product does it take to make well zach's told us these things mm -hmm. like how much product it takes to make a beer right yeah. if you average everything out like yeah, uh the grain and i mean and they're making millions of barrels of beer every year you know i wonder i wonder if they're not making how many barrels do you think they make in a day with all their 12 breweries oh god in this country alone Right, they got eleven or twelve breweries. I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, uh, how many I barrels? Oh, no, was it a barrel like two hundred beers or something like that? <laughs> Fifty gallons, isn't it? I would bet they're making tens of thousands. Would yeah. you say tens of thousands of barrels a day? Yeah, but then then you got to look at like there's, there's like what twelve breweries. So yeah. how many in each? They yeah. must That's at least crazy. be making like five six thousand barrels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm, oh, I'm I'm wondering. I'm trying to stay away from saying over a hundred thousand a day, but I would bet it's thousands of barrels a day between you know combining all the twelve breweries. Yeah, no, that sounds logical. Sure. Oh yeah. You know, I don't think a hundred thousand is is uh because no, they do like twenty million. Is there like 20 million barrels? I mean, it's some ungodly amount. I thought it was hundreds of millions of barrels a year. Yeah. I, I thought it was hundreds of millions. Yeah, but in any case, um, yeah. it, it, it is a damn good question is what kind of rice. Uh, it, that's a question, you know, obviously none of us have thought too much about. I mean, we just kind of say rice in general, but. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I mean, there's a million different kinds of rice. Uh, no, no, and, and every, every country has several varieties, right? Now that I'm thinking of it, they did a, you know how they like, do like how is that how is it made? They used to do the shows. Yeah. They did a walkthrough one time through the Budweiser, and I believe he I believe during that he did say what kind of rice they used. But it, off the top of my head, I can't remember. I wonder if it's just like Ooh. your kind of long grain white rice maybe. You know? Yeah. Well, here anyway. it is. A piece, I saw something. A combination of Bush and InBev were crowned the new global king of beer, producing more than 357 million barrels a year. That's a lot. That's a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. Oh, Zach was almost in there for a minute. Hey, so, Tom, what do you have, brother? Um, I'm drinking some of that brunch side I had from like. Three weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> okay. how is it now, man? That was out of a, that was straight out of one small growler or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it, um, it was out of this one. But um, it, was, it was even opened. Uh, this has been open for like a week and a half, and it's still not bad. Okay, tighten the shit out of it. Yeah, man, I'm a maniac. So when I close, before I close it, I suck all the air out of it and then close it. Whoa, baby! For some reason that like I don't know for some reason I feel like it, it makes it last longer. Yeah, well, <laughs> and it, it would. Well, I'll leave that. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure I do it right. That was suck all the air out of it. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was you lobbed the biggest beat, <laughs> the huge softball. I mean, was at the home run derby. Yeah, that was. I mean, good lord. <laughs> But other than that, I'm drinking some Sambuca. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, Sambuca. Okay. Oh, but delicious. Yeah. Delicioso. Mm. And Earth, what are you drinking, brother? I'm drinking uh, drinking my greens. Cream of broccoli. Oh, there you go. Ooh. From under half. Nice. Ooh. Cream of broccoli. So, does it actually have broccoli in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cream of broccoli, double dry hopped. Okay. Oh, it's, it is a double dry. Okay. It's a DDH. DDH, baby. <laughs> yeah, I like them DDHs. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Gotta have it. They were on the top 50, the, the breweries, last week. Oh, were they? 
Yeah. Nice. Uh, so I'm sharing the screen now. We've got 43, and this is the generic listing for 4,300 total ratings, 600 in the last 30 days, 7.9% uh, ABV, no IPs rated, and a 4.37. Baby. Ding, ding, high score for today. Yeah, that is. Let's see. Double Dry Hopped Cream of Broccoli is an oat cream version of broccoli with Cascade. What is this? Hallertau? Haller, Haller towel? Is that how you say mm -hmm. that? Haller towel. Haller towel yeah, Blanc. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mosaic and Simcoe. What is Haller towel Blanc? Sounds like a grape. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, Haller towel Blanc. We're going to have to find out. That's, 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 unless it's a hop. That, um, well, there's the standard Haller towel hop, so that must be a different version of it. Let's see. Oh, that, yeah. uh, more beer. Let's see. I imagine it has some like wine gear characteristics. German Hollerbell Town is a daughter of Cascade, bred specifically to fit the needs of American craft beer styles. It is mostly an aroma hop with moderate to strong notes of pineapple, white grape, and mm. fresh lemongrass stock mm. and passion fruit characteristics. Mm. So interesting. Okay, so mostly a aroma sort of deal. Well, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, it's basically pineapple bomb. Sounds good. Maybe a little of that vinous, grapey type thing, but basically just pineapple. Big pineapple juice. Mm. What do you rate it? That's getting a good score, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's definitely worth the four three that it's getting right now, right? You can get a four and a quarter, I think. Or four it's really half. soft too, so it's you know, it just it kind of sits on your tongue like a pillow. So that's what I told her. It's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't worry about it, baby. That's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, I didn't start it, okay? I didn't start it today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tom was the one launching be beach balls, for Christ's sake. The oversized. Well, we know you're a team player, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a team player. Hey, what does Billy D say about, you know, the whole nutrition labels on the malt, uh, you know, uh, launching beach balls, you, you know, buying, you know, prostitution. I, I know Billy D's got opinions on all these things. Well, Billy D certainly doesn't have to uh, go and pay for little jurgens on the on somebody's hand. He's got the cold 45. <laughs> <laughs> that works every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome, man! Oh, we got it. We got another citizen in the chat. Yeah, that's the better. That's the better one. Better of the two. That's the better of the two. Yeah. Hey, did you get done drawing the bathwater? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it, it's got to be bath night. I think, right? Mm -hmm. he's, he's in the bathtub. It's all half bath. Yeah, is that is any rice in that bath water? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, bath water. We might as well, right? Like, <laughs> how many beach balls? <laughs> so what, what what's been happening now, uh, Billy? Okay, well, I'm glad we have Jay Vega watching because uh, he's a major part of the malt liquor. Room. <clears throat> oh boy. Um, oh, and also, I I will lead lead off the malt liquor report with this. Congratulations to Jay Vega. Just today, he posted a uh, 10 year anniversary video. He Jay Vega. Uh, has been doing malt liquor videos for 10 years now. Hey, well. Wow. Yeah. Uh, give him a little golf clap for that. Hey, so, yeah. that's, so that's uh, 10 years making malt liquor videos and probably, what would you say, Joe, about seven years uh, malt liquoring the share of beer show. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably. And probably, I don't know, a good – five years before we figured it out <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um but we will get back to vega because we we got something very important with jay vega oh. um actually we had several cuss outs since last week wow uh, from the chairman but they were both of them were 
very as economical as you can get. I mean, as in, fuck you, Joe D. Oh, but, yeah, they, they were very, very sparse. So uh, there's no point in playing the one. There was a pretty good burp involved before it. Yeah. But we'll skip that one. Is he sick? I mean, is he ill? I mean, what's what's going well, on? Well, I'm going to here. I just copied the link <laughs> for this one and I'll leave it to you. I don't think he's ill, but I have a feeling maybe if you if you look at him in this video, I have a feeling he might have had a 40 before he even started recording this video. This oh. might not be at first 40. Oh, so in this video, go to about uh, about 11 minutes, 10 seconds. Before he even started recording this. About 11, 10. Can you hear it? Let you know in a second. I still got the Christmas tree up. Yeah. Yeah, he can hear it. Well, is that a new tablecloth? Is that uh that's just a little different camera angle, I think. I, I, I think he has that he's had that bunning in other videos. Maybe not over the uh that tape that uh, the entire prayer cunt panel. And that's it. Yeah, that was kind of uh you look at him. He looks like he's Yeah, uh, that was half hearted. I think he was yeah, I think he was uh, like he wasn't really, you know, he didn't have his all into that or something. He no, might be playing maybe. hurt. He might be playing hurt. He's he's depressed. Yeah. I mean, he's drinking malt liquor. <laughs> yeah, that's well, <laughs> what the fuck you Joe D in the entire prayer fear cunt panel. Look at that. Yeah, just oh, yeah, just he resigned himself. Like, uh, not only am I drinking malt liquor, but I'm drinking it by myself. And he didn't even say his usual share a bear. Yeah, you know, there was no, uh, yeah, that was kind of uh, lackluster to say. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And he does go on about keeping your Christmas tree up. Uh, it's up to you, Joe, if you want to keep playing it or not. Nothing, nothing but, major. Okay, well, we'll skip over it then. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I also do want to mention we have we another milestone we've reached this week, other than Jay Vega. Although th this is not something directly related to the MLDC, this is something that the MLDC discusses. According to Falstaff Brewing Company, uh, zero two. It has been one year since Fat Reggie uploaded his Saucy Sunday barbecue sauce review. <laughs> And the MLB team is still waiting. They've been waiting for 52 straight weeks now. <laughs> a year ago, Fat Reggie promised a new barbecue sauce review every single Sunday night, Saucy Sunday, and it's been one year now. <laughs> well, isn't that kind of right in, right in line with the rest of what the MLB well, Lots of promises. Yeah. <laughs> promises made, not many kept. Yeah, not many kept. I mean, isn't that right in line with what they do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, as Steel Worldwide always says when he cusses out Reggie, he says, you're powerless, Reggie. You're powerless to your sobriety, and you're also powerless to your YouTube video upload schedule. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to the good stuff. All Joe, right. you just want to go to Jay Vega's channel, Jay Vega 419 Malt Mustang got me hip to this video. He informed me of this video earlier this week. And when I saw the video title, I started wondering. And then when I clicked on it and started listening to it, I got more and more suspicious. Uh, and you'll see it's the second video over. An invitation to the dark side. Can anyone figure out what that might be? Craft beer. And he yeah. does a little manifesto at the beginning of the video. Yeah. So he just needs to play the first, like, two minutes of it. That's right, folks. You read the video and you clicked on the motherfucking title.
<laughs> yeah. Well, now, what was he firing up is the question. You know, it, you know, it, usually people that fire something up like that, big inhale and a choke. That's typically. Well, he'll be on camera in a minute. To extend an invitation. I'd like to reach across the aisle. Oh, he's reaching across the aisle. I would like to reach over the dilapidated fence and invite a malt liquor fiend in craft beer cunt clothing to quit them zeros and get with the heroes. Oh, who's the You see him every week. He's on that fat ass milk dud head Joe D. Sherabier show. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, that, that is unique. You got to give it to him right there. That head. I like that. Milk <laughs> good head. That was good. I like that. Yeah, we got a fat ass. Milk <laughs> dud head. Joe. <laughs> that was good. Fat ass. Milk dud head. <laughs> Joe D. Sherabier show. <laughs> Doing the malt liquor report. With his Billy D. doll. That's right, folks. I'm talking about bum. Oh, bum! Bum roof or bum off or however the fuck you say it. <laughs> or bum roof or bum off or however the fuck bum you say Bum offer! <laughs> There's a bum muffer, man. Hey, is anybody here into bum milfs? You know? <laughs> or bum muffer, bum muffer, however you fucking say it. Just come, come. <laughs> this is your one chance, bum. Put down the matchbox cars. Oh! A ski mask. <laughs> there you go. Do the right thing, bum. Do the right thing. <laughs> Think about your soul. You don't want to spend eternity in Newport or hell. Oh, he says Newport. Okay. Playing tiddlywinks with Machete. Good God. Machete was somebody that got sent to Malt Liquor Hell many years ago. Oh. Shout out to everybody watching my Malt Liquor videos. Follow the motherfucking Blueprint Peasants. It ain't no game, bitch. <laughs> Malt liquor. <You're> done. <laughs> Bum, I'll kill him for you. Just tell me if you want me to do it. I'll kill him. <laughs> Bum milf. <laughs> <laughs> there he, he drinks his, uh, his 40, okay. 45. Um, I guess I should probably address this situation. You think? Yeah, this is, you're, you know, now you're not just the reporter. The reporters become. Yeah, I hate it. I mean, I, I hate it when it's not supposed to be this way, but sometimes the media is the message. Uh, I thought of, all week I thought about how I was going to address this situation and respond to Vega. I actually thought about writing a prepared statement and reading from it. I considered doing that. But uh, I, I never got around to it. Um, I'll just say a few things here. Uh, Mr. Vega, sir, I, I am honored because I know uh, select few get invited to join the MLDC. Very, very select few. So I should be honored by that. But And I'm not saying I will never do a malt liquor video. I very well may. I very well may do a malt liquor video with the ski mask on. If I do, I'll let everybody know about it. Um, unfortunately, I cannot join the MLDC full-time. Not so much out of loyalty to these guys, but these, these CBCs. <laughs> yeah, the CBCs. Yeah. The milk dud. Yeah, the, uh, yeah and that, that uh, milk dud head go do. I love that name. Yeah. That's awesome. Milk the daddy. Yeah. 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 There was, I don't know. There was a few things in your little uh, comments there that didn't sit right with me that uh, may not prevent me from joining down the line, but it's going to bothered me enough, but it, 
that it's going to prevent me from joining. Now, first of all, the uh, making fun of the matchbox cars. I know what you do for a living, Jay Vega. And that wall display over there does contain, you know, I think you would like them if you would see them, several vintage uh, matchbox garbage collection vehicles. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Boom. I, 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 think, I, I think you would like them if you would see them. Uh, I'm sure you would recognize uh, one from the 1970s. I can hear a keyboard typing now. I think. <laughs> but actually, that's, that's not the most important thing. The most troubling thing is you referring to my friend Billy Dean here as a doll. Oh, that's yes. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I know Billy D was personally offended by it. I'm offended by it as a friend of. <laughs> he says, hey, fellas, I get to drive the truck. <laughs> but let's talk about the offenses on the Billy D. We can take Milk Dud guy and and the bum milf guy over there. But the Billy D is a serious, serious offense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just can't believe it's 2019 for God's sakes. I cannot believe that somebody's still using the D word. The D word. <laughs> Come on. We all know he's an action figure. He he is a figurine American. Yes. <laughs> a figurine American. A beer figurine American. Yes. Iconic. So please. please. Iconic beer figurine American. Right. Please, I, MLDC, no more D words. Please. Yes. I, no. I, I think calling Billy D the D word might go against the blueprint. That you know what? I, mean, that, I, I, think, I think Jay Vega just just uh, went against the blueprint. I mean, he's probably going to Malt Liquor Hell. He doesn't know it yet. But. Yeah. You know what? That might be a serious offense of the malt because Billy D, even on this show, holds a can of the malt. Label out, mind you. That's right. And he keeps it in frame. Yeah. He never feels fails to keep it in frame. No, never fails to keep it in frame. Every time, just barely, but he does. Yes. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that's you know that we can't tolerate, man. So uh, unfortunately, just those. Um, we were offended. That's the big word. We were. Yeah. Th those are the big words that we use every in for every uh, news story nowadays. And on this news program, we have backlash. We have fallout. We have outrage. Outrage. Yes. And you got to clap, clap back. Clap back. Yeah, clap back. yeah you got. Yeah. I'm yeah. outraged. Yeah, dilly dilly to outrage. Ah, dilly yeah. dilly. Yeah. Pound and, it here. That's what I say. And pretty soon, because of that fallout, backlash, and outrage, I'm going to suffer a meltdown. That's right. I say we give an old Vikings skull. What do they do? Skull or skull or skull? How, how do they do it on Vikings? Skull! Right? Like that, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was about the only quick manly thing I can think of. Because on Seinfeld, they don't really have anything like that. You know. I think... Uh... Jay Vag, or I'm sorry, Jay Vega, he needs, to, he needs to do an apology video to our boy Bo and Billy D, the man. No, no, I can, I, no, I, I don't need an apology. Possibly Billy D might, but. Uh... Oh, he said, I will sit at the right hand of Walty. Oh, that's, yeah, Walty, the uh, Walty 79. Billy <laughs> <laughs> D. Drinks Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> Billy D drinks Hennessy. <laughs> so I do. I do appreciate the invite. I'm flattered by it, but uh, just certain circumstances prevent me from. Although there very well me may be a malt liquor video coming soon, either from me or I may uh, have Malt Mustang do one in my place. And and to his credit, like I think of all the people, I think Jay Vega has the credentials to give a valid invite like if he, if an invite is given by Jay Vega as opposed to one of the other characters, right, right. Uh, it's more of a valid as, invite. as he said in his video today he's one of the lifers yeah yeah 
Yeah. And I, I, we do need to remind everybody, if it was not for JVEGA419, there would be no malt liquor report. Yeah, that's true. Because, you know, JVEGA actually started yes. the whole malt liquor report. Whether he knew it or not. Yeah, whether he knew it. He didn't really mean to do it. Yeah. But he started in and he, I don't know, did, did he malt liquor even before you were in the chat? Uh, yeah, yeah. And you know, you, you know what sucks is a lot of those old, your old show, Joe, uh, Joe, the, the old shows, the comments are gone. Yeah. The comments got wiped away. I, I'm pretty sure going back to even before I uh, started watching the show, he might have malt liquored the show. He, he might have, yeah. At least since 2012. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know. I don't think he watched. I think he would just chime in on the comments malt liquor yeah uh he says way before so yeah, he knows, he knows, yeah. and he knows when he's jay vega is uh despite his occupation much like me fairly in, a pretty intelligent guy uh if you if, if when you hear vega talk in his videos uh the man does have a pretty sharp brain on him and i guarantee if he says when he says he knows how long he's been doing it he's telling the truth and my glass yeah I, I i thought i because when i thought about it now i'm like i think he's actually been with us longer than yeah. you have I, I mean yeah, I, I not, not that he stayed for the whole thing i think he just in, in those early days would just see a video and just malt liquor it malt liquor, yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you know, know what after the whole video. damn show, because if he commented on the Matchbox cars, that was very late in the show a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So he's watching the whole show now. Yeah. Yeah. So that, you know, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah, well, yeah, is, is that all? Big souls. I like yeah, that. That's, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> Jay Vega says you'd be surprised how much literature I find in the trash. <laughs> 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 told you he's smart <laughs> but that is it for the malt liquor report all right uh, Good one. J -Veg in 10 years my uh my nina uh husband retired as a trash collector that's what he did for a living and uh uh you know that i mean he the stuff that that he had was insane uh you know uh so and then I used to myself, when I worked for the county years ago, when I was still in New Mexico, years ago, when I worked for the county, we used to have to park at the um, uh, transfer station. Uh, and then I would get my county vehicle at the transfer station. So I got to know the, the trash guys. That's what it is. And uh, I got to know the trash guys pretty good over there. And they were always good to know. Anytime you needed a new washer and dryer, I, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you wanted anything. If my washer and dryer broke down, and I had a rental property at the time, I, I didn't go any, to any store. I went to the damn transfer station. You know what I'm saying? And, and they'd save me a good one, you know? And that's all that worked. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, those guys are good to know, actually, because they do have a lot of stuff and know a lot of stuff. They have their goodies. Say all of them have their own little special places. And uh, well, yeah, they've got certain certain neighborhoods or routes or whatever where they know that you know stuff is uh, yeah good stuff is out there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, there's no doubt. That, yeah, you know. No, but I find, but I did find the book of five rings. <laughs> hey, Joe, did, did you see that new that, that new messaging thing they put on YouTube today? No. On the top right, next to the bell. Now this it says you click on it, it's like a, a circle with an arrow. Yeah. It says messages introduced introduce a new way to share. So I don't know if that's like a small like step towards where they want to go. Well, this is tough because now. You're right. There is a thing here, and I can show it because I can share my screen here so that everybody's on the same page of what Tom's talking about. Um, it's just going kind of slow right now. But so right here is what he's saying. If you if you can see that up here at the top, I'm, I'm highlighting, and then you click it. And for me, you're just seeing the different alerts that I've gotten over the last months or so. Uh, 
but yeah, it could be, you know, it could be, it doesn't to me look much different than notifications, but yeah. it, it could eventually be something. <clears throat> Uh, I, I don't doubt it because well, it was about a year ago or so they started trying to pump up. And, and I have posted in there. The problem for me is that it's so buried that I don't think it's convenient for people to even get to. you got to work to get to that part. Like, I've got to work to post to that thing. I think I've got to do like four clicks deep just to get there You know, before I can post something where – Right now on the Facebook page, I can just kind of post something. I don't know where else to post anything uh, but on the Jody Reviews Facebook page. Um, you know, but I can go right, I can open my, my, uh, what app is it? It's the Facebook, uh, well, it's the Facebook pages app. That, that's what I have to manage my uh, Facebook pages. Duh. Mm -hmm. And um, so I can go right to the Joe D reviews page and post something there. Um, so if anything's going on with the show, or you want to stay updated, by the way, that's, that's, the, <laughs> that's kind of the place to go uh, since we don't know what's happening with Google plus. Yeah. Well, we know what's going to happen. We just don't necessarily know how they're going to eventually take down the whole building. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because I was reading something and it said something about they're going to leave the Google chat or something about that. Like the Google, Google Hangouts will stay what th at least through next year or yeah. But I was saying something yeah. like the Google Hangouts are going to be gone, but the Google chat will stay. Something something. I, don't know, something I, I would I would imagine they're going to play around with a lot of stuff. Um, there, so there's a yeah right. I mean yeah, yeah. they're gonna they're gonna leave it. Open for business accounts because I I use Google for my business, you know. For I use Google Drive and all that stuff for uh, for my business, and um, I just got an email from them saying that the price per month is going up a little bit, which is just uh -huh. great for me. Yay! Like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they're increasing the price on Google um, for businesses. G Suite, I guess, is what they call it, right? I like the G-string only better. <laughs> <laughs> only more useful. <laughs> yeah, more useful. But yeah. I, I still don't know how that all plays out in two months. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it, you know. I don't know if they know. Yeah. I think they're just. Yeah, they're, they're, as they're willing things out, and I appreciate you pointing, whoever finds a new feature, let us know, and that, that kind of helps us. You know, so at least we can talk about it or at least be aware. Yeah, cool. So now that we're all kind of aware that there's this messages thing, we can keep an eye on it and see what it's doing, you know, because uh, I use YouTube a lot. I, matter of fact, let me. OK, wait a minute. It, can I do this right now on air? Let me see. They do have that deal where you can see how much YouTube you're using. Has anybody checked it? No, I have. Uh, as, a, as a user, no, I've never seen seen it. I just don't know if there's a I uh, trying to find. I I know I've used it on my mobile. It's weird how all these different device, all these different networks have different options depending on what platform you're using, mm -hmm. right? Um, I know I've checked it a few times. Yeah, see, it, and that's what that's what. That's what bugs me. See, because I, whoops, I go to right here. I go uh, YouTube. I, I open it. I click on my icon there, which will show you your, you know, your account. And right there, the second one has my channel and then time watched. So here's my time watched. Okay. My daily average. I'll tell you. Okay. As it, as, as we go down the list, it, it gives you four in a list so you have today yesterday past week and daily average my just today i've watched an hour and 26 minutes uh yesterday was an hour and 35 minutes uh the past week seven hours and 42 minutes daily average is an hour and six minutes then i watch youtube and i typically work 12 hours <laughs> so you know youtube i don't 
I don't have live TV in my house. I don't have cable. I don't, I don't even have an antenna that gets live over the air TV, you know, free over the air. I don't even have that. So when I want to watch something, like let's say uh, AAF football, I've, I've been wanting to watch that. The Arizona, ba, 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 wait, hold on. Uh, Hot Shots uh, are the team. Uh, there are two and all right now, actually. Uh, I've been watching it. It's some decent football, especially since they're winning ball games. They play at ASU Stadium, I believe. Um, although they've only played there once because they played the week one and then week two was on the road. I think they did. They play. Was it tennis, Arkansas or Tennessee? Something like that. Memphis. Did they play Memphis? Less? Anyway, um, but if I want to watch something like that, it's all live on YouTube. Someone's on there streaming it. So I don't need to pay. What am I going to pay? I pay for YouTube premium which cost me $13, which is no more than – actually, it's less now, I think, than what you're paying for 4K Netflix. And there's nothing higher streaming than YouTube right now. I think even Netflix is lower streaming than YouTube. YouTube will stream up to 8K if you have that capability, I think, if I'm not mistaken. In any case, um, there's so much live streaming on YouTube that there's always something live streaming on YouTube. Like it seems like to me for whatever you need to watch. So that's my live streaming option. To tell you the truth. I, I cut out my direct TV now subscription and, and I cut out my YouTube TV subscription. Cause I'm like, what am I paying for this stuff for? It's on YouTube already. You know? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to check that out because I still use Direct TV now. That that's our primary stream is Direct TV now. Yeah. Now, see, and one, if you're still, if you still have TV shows that you like, also I have to mention that I have Hulu. I don't have Hulu Live or Hulu TV, whatever it's called, but I just have Hulu and I pay the extra for no commercials. Yep. So if you're willing to wait a day, I think is what it is. Then the shows on Hulu with no commercials, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so I, I, f cause you add up all the subscriptions and you could end up paying more than you ever were for uh, cable in the first place. Mm -hmm. So it, it can get nuts. Um, and that's the problem with cord cutting is it's so, uh, what do you call that? Um, seg uh, diffracted or what do you call that Mark? Uh, segmented. Seg Segmented, yeah. Uh, you got so many little individual pieces. All yeah, there's the so many little individual pieces yeah. that it, fragmented. It, fragmented, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, thank you. It's so fragmented that it's it, it's tough to. It really takes you to take a step back and really look at the whole picture before you're like, man, look how much money I'm spending on all this junk, mm -hmm. and how much am I really watching? And that's the thing. It that's what I did, and it's just me. I'm I'm not me and another person or me and a family. You know what I'm saying? So that's take it for what it's worth to you. But that that was my plan of attack, and that's what I've been doing since the Super Bowl ended. <laughs> so once football was over, I was like, okay, what am I doing here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and I, I don't watch over the air TV. And then to me, my whole thing is why am I gonna pay you for something? that you're giving for free over the air. I am paying you to give me commercials. Screw that. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I'm not going to pay you when they're paying you. You're double dipping. That's the way I look at it. I'm Even not going to. ESPN. Huh? ESPN in the morning gets free, like undisputed and stuff. Yeah. It, uh, they're uh, they're you know, live on, on, uh, on, on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. There are a lot of the because I'm into sports, so you know I watch PTI. I promise you, about a half hour after PTI airs, someone has it uploaded without commercials. It's 21, 22 minutes without commercials, high quality, and that's YouTube already knows what I want to watch. So when I open the YouTube app on my Apple TV, boom, there's PTI, first thing. You know, <laughs> it's it's great. There's nothing better to me than than Google's algorithm. The only thing better than Google's algorithm is um, uh, 
Amazon, <laughs> and yeah. the only other thing better than Amazon, if you notice, if you spend any amount of time in, who is really good at feeding you ads that suit you? Have you noticed? Instagram. Mm -hmm. Do you not flip through ads in Instagram? I do. I know. I they, I don't know what it is about Instagram, but I'm like, oh, yeah, check that. Oh, son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, if there's any place that I will click on an ad, it's damn Instagram. I swear to God, they are. Facebook is doing something spectacular <laughs> with the ads in there because they even have an app that is dedicated to Instagram ads. So people can flip through. People are so crazy about the ads in Instagram. They've got that so dialed in that there's an app just for Instagram ads. It's crazy. That, I pay a lot of attention to ads. I hate yeah. them. I don't like commercials. I'm so I am that hardcore cord cutter. Like I'm like I am not going to give you money to give me commercials. You know, yeah. that's the way I look at it. Not not when you have an over the air option that's free. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I see a yeti. Yes, you see a yeti in cans. Yeah, oh, and can't oh. everything is getting canned my language sure. now. now. This is now. This was I, I saw this for the first time in the store today. So I got a six pack of just a regular old Yeti in cans, and I'm like, I wonder. And they didn't have a price tag, so I'm like, I wonder how much this is. The bottles, individual bomber bottles of Yeti, were $6.99. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be like 18 bucks because it's as basic like three bombers. So I go and check out, and a six pack is thirteen bucks. Oh wow! I'm like, well, geez, that's a win. I mean, I get yeah. I get a, a bottle free, basically. <laughs> believe it or not, those six packs of uh, Yeti and cans here were even cheaper here, if you can believe it, Mark. Okay. I, I bought a six pack maybe about six months ago here, and I think it was maybe twelve bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot I mean, beat that. At that I'm, price, I mean, that's, and it's a year-round beer for them. You know, yeah. I'm, I buy this year round. I'm still one of my favorites. It, yeah, I, has anybody noticed? Is there any fluctuation in the price of beer according to what the price of metal is? Does the cost of aluminum? Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Gain? It probably matters a little bit, but I don't think it. I think the biggest cost is going to be <laughs> the cost Shipping. of ingredients, especially for these bigger beers. Yeah, ingredients and shipping. All that, all, all that rice that they use in Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, and then it depends on the they exotic rices use, they're using. They use brown rice for the. Yeah, I mean, they use brown rice for this. That's so. true. Oh yeah, but pump. Is it organic? I'm sure it is. Yeah. Boy, yeah, baby, just the organic brown rice there, baby. Just saying, yeah. <laughs> I got one coming up on four years. I'll be cracking next month. Really? Bottle yeah. or a can? I can. Wow. Cool. I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure it'll be good. Let, let me share the screen on that one real quick for anybody that doesn't, isn't familiar with um, the Great Divide Yeti Imperial. We talk about chassis beers like Sculpin. I mean, this is this is a chassis beer here. Oh, yeah. yeah there's many variations. You've got 188,000 ratings, 1,200 in the last 30 days, 9.5% ABV, 75 IBUs, and a 3.93 rating. Yeah. Do you know how solid that is for 188 uh, total ratings and a beer to still have a 3.973? Oh, yeah. I mean, a 3.93 is, is, is crazy. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's, it's a solid beer. Um, what is it, 9.5%? Yeah, nine, or at least that's what it says here. Nine, nine and a half. But. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good beer. And uh, here's the 2018. Uh, I've seen cans of it, which is really weird. Yeah, I hadn't seen a can. I, mm -hmm. I honestly hadn't. Yep. I honestly hadn't. And uh, you know, by the way, you know, we failed to we failed to give any sort of recognition to the uh. Of Official, the unofficial share of beer cats of the show, AJ and Crusher. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Crusher's I, I, on the boss's lap, and I don't know where AJ is. Yeah, I think I saw Crusher back there earlier. Yeah, he was up on the cat tree. I think he got pretty offended. Jump off. 
Yeah, I think he's, he got he's taking he's taking on the, the taking me on like the chair. Yeah. Like, get up here, Come, jump off, break your neck. <laughs> Wait, we got Hannah. <laughs> what kind of name is this? Hannibal Lecter dildo collector. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter dildo collector. <laughs> this is the sleep channel. He says. I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, especially, you know, we're already at fifty percent of what anybody else is doing. I don't give a damn who it is, and then we're playing hurt, which is fifty percent of that. So yeah, I could see that. You know, we could we could definitely. Hey, but we got to get credit for that. Yeah. You know, hey, we're we should get a lot of credit for your good sleep. Hello. Yeah. You know. Hello. Plus, you're you're drinking some good quality craft beer, which. You know, helps the memes a little bit. You know. Yeah, I mean, sleep is good. Sleep is critical to an enjoyable life. So we're improving your life. So exactly. that's right. Exactly. That's right. And who doesn't love a really good, like you know, flatulence in the bath in in the bedroom? Maybe just saying, you know, just blow that at your special someone. You know what I'm saying? Crap, ah, do that for you. Nothing says love like a fart <laughs> under the covers. That's right. <laughs> there you go, baby. Yeah. My. You know? My one uh, lifelong, decades-long buddy says he tries to time his nighttime bedtime farts with his wife's exhaling when she snores. Yeah, so it's like wake her up. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's that's out of love. I mean, really. That, there you go. Yeah. yeah, he says you're gonna bore seven people to death. <laughs> that's seven count counts of manslaughter. <laughs> you're right. You're absolutely right, man. You know, hey, we don't, we don't, we don't, you know, hey, absolutely, yeah. you know. But I, I think that might be an MLDC member in disguise. Is that you, Mr. Rayner? Oh, you can play us in the background while you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that Mr. Rayner? Like sounds he, a rain. Does he have, uh, 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 you, you know, uh, uh, shaving cream on his face again, or <laughs> yeah, boxes of dildos? There's... Mr. Mr. Rayner, I, I, I never reported this, but I know for a fact Mr. Rayner pops up on some of these channels, com commenting under uh, very clever and funny uh, troll names. Yeah. Yeah, well, Hannibal Lecter dildo collector rhymes and does qualify as a uh, troll name. Oh yeah. yeah. Although, although Mr. Rayner, I think if he was going to be on here, I think he would just post under his own name. I, I would, he's done it plenty of times before. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? And we didn't give Luke Bag Larry any credit. He, he's he's in here. Yeah, right? cheers, cheers to Luke Bag. His his most recent exploits including uh, includes finding an unlocked gumball machine and throwing a marble into it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I got that off the bucket list. All right, <laughs> one kid's not going to be happy. <laughs> and and we had Google Google in here earlier. Yeah, yeah. But it was do you think is that Bobo by chance? Because there was a comment this legalized prostitution and legalized eating ass. Well, that I thought Google Google might be malt liquor marauder because uh, that was I reported on this last week about uh, malt liquor marauder doing some live streams, which he deleted. And oh. uh, but they have been saved by a few people and posted reposted about some of his uh, sexual proclivities. Oh, always. Oh, he has proclivities, does he? Yeah, kind of in line with Google Google uh, there. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something you need to see a doctor about. Mm -hmm. Proclivities, you got to watch out about those. Yeah, oh, what the hell? Yeah, Sounds like he's asking for help, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that could be a cry for help. He's missing the question mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That does sound like a call for help, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> in, in any case, we're out here, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week uh, right here on YouTube, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. And is there any truth? My mom had let me know that New Mexico had done away, uh, done away with daylight savings time. Uh, wow. Good for them. It must have been on the ballot or something. It must, that must have, must have passed. It must have had a resolution or something. Yeah. 
Sure. I'd be fine if everybody got rid of it. I mean, yeah, just me too. It was on our ballot. Yeah. I'm surprised, you know, with California's reputation for wanting to be the first or wanting to, you know, set the trend. And I'm surprised they haven't, like, yeah. you know, out of all the places. Because, you know? yeah, the entire state's in one time zone, so that wouldn't matter. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of surprised they haven't. And, and, and if California did, a lot of other states would, that's for sure. I mean, Oregon most certainly would. Washington most certainly would. They do whatever California does. So now the question is, how many more states are going to do uh, uh, are going to legalize marijuana in the next couple of years? Oh, that's a good question because you know what you can get here now. I think it's in Tempe. There's a pizza store, a pizza parlor, that is selling hemp oil and certain hemp's on pizza. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be federally legal in a couple of years. I think it probably will be. Yeah, next five years. Yeah, there's so much big money coming in. Taxed, yeah. I mean, that's where that's where the big money is at, right? Mm -hmm. uh, have you seen our dear friend of the show, uh, the Prophet? Uh, have you followed him on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I can wow. only imagine. Wow, wow, <laughs> yeah. There's, I have gotten an education, my friend. I, yeah. <laughs> wow. There's birthday cake. There's, uh, oh, there's, uh, wow, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, wow, prices, wow. there's, uh, everything on there. Um, if it didn't hurt that cake, that would be like an endless tape loop. <laughs> you would just keep eating and, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, uh, whoo. Yeah, it's, uh, I, you know, I mean, I'm not hating, you know, I, I just can't. That's all there is. It's do this, lose job. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of like job. I kind of like uh, my lifestyle, my money, you know. Uh, but uh, like a, a fellow friend of mine that retired, you know, oh, man, when I retire, I'm going to this and that and big Cheech and Chong joints and all this. And, and he said. I think it was like a week or so after he retired and he, I talked to him and he was like, Joe, that weed they got nowadays is so strong. It scared the hell out of me. I never touched that stuff again. That's never been about 40 years ago, wasn't it? I'll just stick to beer, man. Screw that. He was like, that scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> you looking at the stealing for now. <laughs> he was like, yeah, man, I'd advise you to stay the hell away from that junk. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cracked me up. You know, because, you know, my days of doing all that recreational stuff is a lot different than now. They've got that stuff down <clears throat> to a science is not giving it any justice. I mean, it's beyond that. I mean, these cats got it down. And I remember in the 1980s, people saying then, oh, my God, the people from the 1960s, the, 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 their, the, our weed was uh, <laughs> stronger than the people from the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're comparing the stuff 30 years later to the 80s stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, these, you know, I mean, I drive by some of these farms. Dear God. I mean, these people. Wow. You know? Uh, and there's more and more green crosses. That's all I got to say there. And they're housing big warehouses now, man. Like, you know, whew. A lot of money. Yeah, we have, I think we have three in our complex. Wow. We have one that's right next to us. So, uh, during the summer, you get whiffs through the, uh, the <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> It's uh, there's certain part, you know how there's certain parts of town, uh, you can drive through, and you always kind of smell that like stale beer smell or like a liquor smell or something, and and there's certain places I swear I don't give a damn what time you drive by them, you always smell weed. I don't give a damn when you go through there. It just always smells like weed. Um, 
and in a place like New Mexico, it's got to be real tough, man, because it there's certain times of year it smelled like weed anyway. They're burning so much green chili, so it's like yeah. you, know, you can't tell yeah. the difference. <laughs> In any case, guys, we're out of here, man. We'll see you guys next week, man. Thank you for everybody and all their support of this show. Uh, we'll see you, man. Peace out. Right. Later, guys. See you Later. Next week. See ya.